Alan Kilshaw has gathered his side together at Spotland for the first time ahead of their 2016 preparations. Here at Rochdale 13, we brought you behind the scenes action. The day started with Kilshaw addressing his squad on his coaching philosophy. He then talked the group through his expectations of them on and off the field before the players went away in groups to work on pre-season goals. After that came some pre-season testing which the players can measure their progress by later on in the season. They also completed head tests and polls for their headshots. Alan has made some exciting changes to the playing squad and he is happy with the team he has assembled ahead of the 2016 season. Yeah, I think we've got 10 new signings and they're all going to add to the group and, and we had certain character traits and you know, players with certain philosophies at this club and the players we've gone out and got will, will all add to the group. And, you know, someone like Samir who's been at Bradford full time is going to add to the group but so are all the other signings so yeah, we're really pleased how we've gone you know, on recruitment wise this, this pre-season. He has also brought in some new faces in the coaching department, which he feels will help the club progress. Without doubt, wants to be as professional as we can in a semi-professional environment. We needed a strength and conditioning coach, and in Ryan, he's one of the best around. We're very fortunate that he just wants an opportunity to, to be back in rugby league. Uh, he probably could have took a lot better financial packages elsewhere, but he wants to be here. He can see what we're trying to achieve. Jason and Paul, two assistant coaches alongside Romney from last year, were well staffed and that's what you need at this level. I can't always be leading sessions and it needs to be different voices and everyone we brought in a quality addition. Ben Moores is one of Kilshaw's new signings and he played under Killer at Serena and is confident that the new gaffer will do well at Rochdale Hornet. He's, um, he's a good coach actually, uh, knows his stuff. Um, what can I say? He's, uh, yeah, he's, he, he likes everything done right the right way and he should, he should do really well for this club. So. Ben also had spells with South Wales Scorpions and North Wales Crusaders and he is happy to be starting the next chapter of his career with Rochdale Hornets. Yeah, it's really good. I um, just got back from Australia a couple of weeks ago so quite happy to sign and met the boys and a few good lads up there so looking forward to getting into it. Lewis Galbraith may be a familiar name to some Hornets fans after a dual red spell with the club but now he is looking forward to being at Spotland full time. Yeah, well there's a lot of lads that I've sort of played with and played against um, over the years, so it's sort of nice to be in the same room as all of them together. Uh, there's a few lads that I don't know, but uh, good things about. So uh, yeah, I'm looking, just looking forward to getting into training next Tuesday and uh, seeing how things go together. Lewis also played on the Killshaw at Serena last season, and he is happy to be working with him again. Yeah, yeah, it should be good. Um, quite comfortable with the fact that we sort of know each other. He knows me as a player and I'm as a coach. So I'm quite comfortable I can approach him and he knows he can approach me. Uh, he knows where I play and how I play, so I think that's going to work well for us. He knows, he knows a lot about me. So. John o. Smith has been a thorn in Rochdale's side over the years with Crusaders, but now he has taken off a fresh challenge with the Hornets and is raring to go. Yeah, um, I'm really pleased. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a fresh challenge for me. I've obviously been at North Wales for four years, and I'm really looking forward to getting started when, when you know, when the band does finish. Um, really eager to rip in and have a good season next year. And hopefully, be successful. He carries over a ban from his time with the Welsh outfit, and will miss the beginning of the season before returning to face his former club on Good Friday. Fate, I think. Yeah. Um, no, uh, I suppose you've got to play him at some point. Uh, first game or, or whether it was five games into the, into the season for me, I would, I'd, I'm going to be approaching it as, a, as a, any game. Uh, I'm going to be going out there and do my best to get them into Rochdale. Samir Tarawi was last at Spotland at the back end of the season with Keithley Cougars, but now the big forward has returned as a Rochdale Hornets player. Right, it feels really good. You know, we played against them twice last year. Uh, it's a tough team to play against them. I'm happy to be a part of this year. Samir spent last season on loan from Million Pound Game Runners-Up, 
Bradford Bulls and is now out to prove a point after being released from the Championship club. Um, I think obviously coming down from the division above, you know, there's always a point to prove, but you know, I know I'm capable of doing it. I'm just going to go out and do it every week. I'm sure the rest of that family will work back and get to the team. All of the squad met for the first time, and after a promising meeting, Samir feels that it is a good group to be a part of. It does, yeah. You know, there's a few lads that obviously I know from playing against and playing with a couple of years ago. There's a few new lads around, so it'll be good to you know, kind of get them all of the team and get to know them. The day finished with a team lunch as the players continue to bond ahead of the start of training on Tuesday, as the Hornets begin the hard work towards the 2016 season.